Nigel Farage is with us now, member of the European Parliament. Nigel, come on in. I'm sure you heard what the president had to say. Yeah. One of the centerpieces was immigration and the need to uphold national borders. That's, that's your line, Nigel. Oh, absolutely. Look, as somebody who spent 25 years fighting for national control over immigration and fighting the battle of individual nation-state sovereignty against global bureaucracy, I have to tell you, this speech was music to my ears. If in years to come anybody ever asks you, what was Trump's political philosophy, all of it was there in that speech. He also had a warning for Europe, Germany in particular, I think, don't be dependent on one source for your energy. That would be Russia. You've got to diversify. Was, am I right in saying that was aimed squarely at Germany? Oh, yes. I mean, what's been happening is the global community have been saying, ah, oh, well, of course, Donald Trump, he may well have colluded with Russia. Uh, when Trump points out that actually it's Germany that have made themselves wholly reliant for 60 percent of their energy needs on one country, which is perhaps why the Germans only expelled three diplomats in the wake of the Salisbury poisoning <laughs> compared to the 60 that America did. You like what the president had to say. But what about yeah. other Europeans? I can't imagine that they will be very happy with President Trump. Well, no. Well. No, the big flashpoint, of course, is going to be Iran. Now, on the very day that Trump lays out before the UN, uh, you know, all of his criticisms of Iran, of their sponsorship of terrorism, of all the terrible uh, things that they've done, this very morning, Mrs. Mogherini, who is the unelected, of course, but the <laughs> foreign minister of the European Union, she's been saying that they will, the European Commission will, facilitate better trade mm. with Iran. So this is the big dividing line between the European Union and between America. Uh, and Trump laid his position out there very clearly indeed. OK, you liked it. OK, you really liked it. I mean, you really, I really it. liked it. <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I did. And, you know, socialists, socialists will hate it. Yes. Globalists will hate it. Unelected bureaucrats will hate it. But I promise you this. Conservatives and people that believe in the nation state all over the Western world will say to themselves, this was the best and in many ways the most dignified speech the president has given. Hold on one second, Nigel. I just want to play for our audience a short soundbite from the president where he's talking about immigration. Roll tape, please. Migration should not be governed by an international body, unaccountable to our own citizens. Ultimately, the only long-term solution to the migration crisis is to help people build more hopeful futures in their home countries, make their countries great again. Uh, Nigel, the president said we, America, will not join this global compact on migration. And frankly, sir, that's the first I've heard of it. What's that all about? Oh, yes. I mean, the UN have had this global compact on migration, basically saying uh, that we should all accept our fair share, by which they mean some sort of bureaucrat-derived uh, quota um, of migrants from Syria, the Middle East, or wherever else it may be. Um, and what you've seen right across the West are the left of politics saying, what a wonderful idea. Isn't it great that the UN will decide our immigration policy? Uh, and I think that uh, what President Trump did today was to kind of torpedo it uh, below the waterline and quite right too. I mean, the whole speech, the whole speech was saying, look, democracy works, the nation state works, freedom works, free markets work. That doesn't mean we're turning our backs on the rest of the world. Of course we're not. But we want to have a world in which we respect the differences that exist between our countries, rather than pretending we can all be governed by one body run by bureaucrats. And that's the theme, I think, that ran through the whole of that speech. Uh, and, hey, as I said earlier, I fought for this for my entire adult life. So the whole thing really was a joy for me to listen to. Oh, a happy man indeed. We, we like happiness on this programme, <laughs> Nigel Farage. Thank you very much, Thank sir. You. We'll see you again soon.